one I'm going to be making um, kale chips. Um, this is an experiment, like you know, I'm always experimenting. Yeah, so uh, let's hope, let's keep our fingers crossed it'll turn out well. Um, I got this, uh, Boom Girl sent me this package of um, seriously great greens, kale ahoy. So it's got different kinds of greens, uh, different kinds of kale. So this is some of it. I'm going to be using, um, yeah, these, the ones, the, the curly ones. And then um, there's still more kill here from the package. Um, and this one, I'm going to be using it for um, the curry later. Yeah. Thanks everyone for joining. Wow. Hello. 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 Okay, let me just pin the comment. Yeah, so people know what I'm doing. Pin the comments. Okay, and then um what I'll be using for the the, the kale chips um coating is um I have macadamia nuts. I've sold these macadamia nuts. Yeah, um I'm not using cashews just because Mr. Jazz guitar is, is allergic to cashews. Um for the sweetness I'm going to I'm using two medjool dates. That uh, for the seasonings, um, there's going to be there's a tomato. Um, I'm also going to be using spices. Um, this is a spice blend by my friend um, Dan. He he has it in one of his ebooks. I got it. Uh, yeah, from the it's one of his ebooks. I got the ebook as part of the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. If you didn't manage to get the bundle, um, subscribe to my e newsletter. The link is in the bio, and then you can you'll know when the next bundle is out. I'm also going to use a bit of Shio Koji. Uh, I got this from Be Real Cafe. Um, you can check them out if you're in um, Klang Valley. Yeah, in Kapo. Um, I also got this uh, fermented spicy bean curd. I also just bought it from um, Be Real Cafe. They have um, some of the other uh, fermented stuff as well. And then um, a bit of smoked paprika. Yeah, this is a bit of smoked paprika. I met I, I I made some pineapple um, tepache the other day, so I'm gonna put that in as the vinegar element, the acidity. Yeah, and that's um, basically it. So let's get started. Hello, Sugar Crab House. Hello, Karen Rose Richard. Hello, Catch Cat. Hello, Nature Essentials. Um, so for the kale, I'm just gonna take off the stems. Yeah, the stems are actually very. Um, they're very light, but I'll take them off and then um, while I'm doing that, some people have already been asking me. I always get this question over and over and over again because in Malaysia, um, okay, anyway, I get this question like, where's all the plastic gonna go, right? So, Boom Grow is actually very aware of this. They have a FAQ, check out their website. And let me just read from the FAQ for you. It says, do we need packaging for our vegetables? So it says, the right packaging allows us to reduce waste while protecting the integrity of the greens once they leave our farm, which I totally agree. Yeah, for what it's worth, packaging plays a critical role in ensuring the safety and quality of the produce. Yes, exactly. <sighs> Please do not demonize packaging. I mean, like, I do buy a lot of... Um, you know, like when I go to the markets, I bring my own bags, I bring my own recyclable bags, you know, um, I'm going to be reusing this. I have like, I have this, um, this I think this is the third batch of veggie that they've sent to me and I still have the packaging from the first and the second batch and I reuse them. You know, I store my veggies, I, I use them for as freezer bags, that kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, and they are aware and they have said environmental care is very important to us. All of us have a part to play. You know, we send your produce in plastic wraps, but we ask you to reuse the packages. Store odds bits of vegetables, use it as a bin liner. I mean like, um, you know, from even from other grocers and all that, I use it as a bin liner as well, you know. Um, yeah, I, I get like, I mean, this has been happening for years. I get DMs from people going like, ooh, so much plastic. Or like, 
oh, you know, you you you're um, you're an influencer and you're influencing people badly. Like, oh, you know, please write to the grocers, ask them not to use any plastic anymore. I refuse to use any plastic from any grocer. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, I get this every single week, and I'm just like, look, I'm trying, guys. Okay, I'm trying. Like, okay, you know these stems from this kale. I put them into my smoothies. I do not. I I I don't like food waste either. So I put them into my smoothies. You know, I I use bamboo straws. Okay, I use bamboo straws. I use aluminium straws. I bring them around with me. Yeah, you know, I I have I have a um you know like a little. Uh, cutlery thing that I bring along with me as well when I go out so that I do not need to use um, disposable uh, forks and spoons and, and all that so I do my part as much as I can yeah so you know for people to I keep getting this for people to DM me over and over and over again saying like why you um, you know why are you promoting grocers that use plastic it's just like it's so unfair it's totally unfair sorry i need to go on this rant because um i get like i said i just got this every week and then today this morning i had somebody comment as well like where does all the plastic go though and it's just like hello anyway um for boom grow they actually do say you know if you like to collect your use packaging for reuse send us a message and we will take it off you during the next delivery so that is something that they do as well and they are aware okay so yeah i need to i need to get this off my chest because you know yeah it's just like <laughs> okay cash cat too people just want to harass others online they are probably at home eating horrible things and their house has just as much plastic as everyone else yeah i mean they're commenting from their phones your mobile phones which also has all that plastic as well you know we it's not a perfect world i try i try as much as i can you know i mean like look this pineapple tepache is made from the cores the core and the peels of pineapple so that doesn't get thrown these days every morning i drink like banana peel tea so i don't throw the peel away first i use it and i drink it as a tea so yeah anyway and you know what today um for my for my um sauce that i'm doing for the kill i think i'm just gonna like pop these in as well so that there's no food waste yeah I've never done that, but let's see if that works. Like, today is all about experiments. Yeah. Catch, cat, great point. Thank you. Okay. Now that I've gotten that off, let's make the sauce for the... the um, for, for the... For the kale chips. Okay. I am... Like I said, this is an experiment, so let's see if it works. <laughs> All right, so I have macadamia nuts and I have dates. Oh no, you know what? Let me put in the, um, I'm gonna put in the tomatoes first because that is liquidy. So it's easier for the blender to blend it up. Let's put all the liquid ingredients first. All right, and then, um, so I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of the pineapple tapache. Yeah, so this is just, um, to give it the acidity alright and then um, I'll put in the shiokoji as well I'll put half a teaspoon in yeah hello Fabian Fabiano sorry and then um, I'll put in the spicy fermented tofu I like my ferments, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I really like my ferments. So I'm putting that in. Pineapple tapache, uh, what is it? It's basically a probiotic drink. Um, it's made out of pineapple peel, filtered water, 
Um, and then I put um, the Masarang Arena for sugar, which is a coconut palm sugar. Um, then um, I just leave it to ferment for, I think I did it for 36 hours. I, do, I, I was doing an experiment. I think I did one 36 and then another one longer. Um, yeah. Uh, and then it's, yeah. So the, the yeast from the pineapple peel will actually feed on the sugar. Yeah, the, the coconut sugar and then um, yeah, and then it'll ferment and it'll come up as a very delicious probiotic drink. Yeah, I love my sauerkraut here in the Midwest USA. Yes, I make sauerkraut as well while fermented. Yeah, yeah, it's for while fermentation because it's just the the yeast from the um, um, from the pineapple peel. Yeah, and just make sure that you use like organic pineapple peel. Um, I use the bio uh, biodynamically grown pineapple. Um, that I bought from Be Real, so I thought like, oh, that's a fun thing to do. It seems like every continent in America has its own kind of ferment. Actually, this is the um, this is very popular in Mexico. Yeah, um, yeah, and I have a lot of my friends making it, but I never really got around to making it until recently. So just I just started trying. Yeah, um, I had it once at a pop up dinner in a uh, pop up supper club in London. Yeah, and then um, I know some of my students make it as well. But I've been making water kefir and I made like kimchi and all that, so I haven't done that. Yeah. Oh, hi, Asamat. Good morning. I didn't wake you up because I thought you might be sleeping, so I'll just like let you go. I did this whole rant about the um, the pl whole plastic issue because I got comments again this morning about it. So yeah, I went on a whole rant. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Uh, we put in... Okay, now I'm just going to put in a bit of smoked paprika. Yeah, so, and then, um, and then I'm going to put in the spice. Okay, I'm quite excited. Yeah. Okay, and then, after this, we'll put in the, yep, yeah. we'll put in the macadamia and the dates and then i'm half wondering whether i put in some water um we'll try and blend it up and see whether it needs water or not yeah okay so you might not be able to see me blending but it's just like blending in the i mean it's just blending in the vitamix that's all of macadamia yeah oh I'm so I'm gonna taste it mmm I wonder whether it needs a bit more salt like it might need a bit more to your koji actually yeah I'm gonna put in like one more Yeah, it's half a teaspoon, yeah. So we put in one teaspoon. Hello, Ken Ken Kenna Piscilla. Hello, Rain Sage. Hello, Melinium. And hello, Meredith. Good to see you again. Okay. I'm gonna blend this up again. Tree, tree in the house. I put in your spice for this for my kale chips. I'm super excited. 
Okay. Okay, now it's a good consistency. Uh, plant by Gia. Hello, plant by Gia. Um, enzyme Ashamai. Um, a bit stressed. Because. <laughs> mmm. 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 Okay, right, that's good. I like it. Um, <laughs> how am I? I've got like a lot of things on my plate. Uh, I'm, I'm doing the um, Chef AJ show um, this on Sunday. Yeah, so um, I went out to get all the ingredients. I'm writing out the script for it. I need to practice as well because I need to figure out like... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm making Korean barbecue, so I have all my recipes down already because I, I developed the recipes much earlier, but I am more like, okay, you know, like, how do I fit everything in? I, I have two main recipes, and if there's more time, I may want to talk about the samjang as well for the show, so um, uh, I, I, pre I did a dry run yesterday. I need to figure out, like, how to fit all of that in into one hour and also like because my kitchen space is not very big so I need to figure out like which plates am I going to use like how am I going to you know do I need to clean the blender in between or do I chop through things and all that so yeah I'm doing that and then I've just got like adulting things to do as well I was stressed for Chef AJ when I did that and up being awesome yeah yeah I watched that one I, I in fact I think I watched it twice because I wanted to make your noodles and I still actually haven't gotten around to making the noodles. I didn't make your dumplings though, so it's kind of the same thing, right? I mean like the same base, right? So, yeah. Karen says, looking forward to seeing you on Chef AJ. Oh, thanks Karen. I look forward to having you join us as well. Hello, Fully Raw Mel. Thanks for joining. So, okay, I'm going to pour this onto here as well. Yeah. And then Enzyme, I went on a whole... Um, um, because people always complain about, um, you know, in Malaysia, a lot of the food comes in packaging, so I got, a, I get a lot of shit from that. Um, yeah, so I get people commenting on um, on the post itself when I post my veggie hauls, or I get people DMing me as well. I got so many DMs at one time, so um, yeah, I'm just trying to explain to people like what I try to do on my side. I mean. You know, I use reusable bottles all the time. Like, especially when I travel and all that, I, I look for water filling stations. Um, when I shop at the markets, I always bring a recyclable bag with me or two. Actually, I have like three bags in the car and one bag in my handbag, you know. And then, um, yeah, you know, I try and... So I, I, I try and do what I can, but in Malaysia, it's like... It's very hard to go plastic. Um, not all grocers will be plastic free, that's one. And I guess the other thing is also, um, I reuse all the plastic because I need to, um, I need to line my bins as well. And I, um, yeah, I mean like, what do you guys do as bin liners if you don't use it? So I reuse all that as well, but, and then actually the grocer that I get it from, they send, things in recyclable bags and I actually return the bags to them so they can reuse them again and a lot of it actually um, it comes in brown paper bags or it also comes in um, some of the things are wrapped in brown paper as well you know but there are some of the items that uses um, plastic but I reuse all those bags but I still get people writing to me complaining yeah, oh no, it's not your fault. People will always complain about something. I know, but it's something that I get, like, I think almost every week. And I'm just like, what is this? Like, this morning I woke up and I had someone complaining as well. Like, going like, you know, where's all that plastic going to go to? I'm like, well, it's going to, I'm going to use it. Yeah, I'm going to reuse it. So Karen was like, also saying like, yeah, reuse, reuse. Sorry guys, this has gone into a whole rant about it. Jacqueline, do your best and keep trying to improve a little each day. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't take it as a personal attack. So I guess that's the other thing I have to work on, like, inner work and it's not a personal attack. I mean, this person, these persons, not this person, but a lot of people just want to tell you how good they are and how they refuse shopping at grocers. 
you know, that do plastic. But how do they, like, <laughs> someone actually asked, like, how do you do 100% plastic free, right? I mean, you guys are all using your iPhones anyway, so, yeah. Hello, Raphael. Anyway, okay, so I put the, um, the yummy, super yummy sauce on top of the kale already. So now you just want to cook it. Yeah. And then... Honestly, I would just eat it like this because then it's not dehydrated. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. But I know I have to dehydrate it too. Ooh. Because seriously, look. Okay, okay. I'm going to use another one of these. The, the ones that I thought I was going to use for the salad. Okay, I'm just going to taste this. And because I'm the only one at home, I'm just going to... I mean, I'm the... Well, there's like... Eventually, only just two of us eating it, so yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> I get so much, I'm gonna have another one. Oh, I'm not supposed to eat yet. I'm only supposed to eat in 20 minutes. Try and do that time restricted thing, but yeah. But I'll do a taste test for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Catch Cat says even clothing has plastic in it law exactly. Mm. I don't see the complainers running around naked. <laughs> Thank you, Catch Cat. That's so funny. That is really funny. <laughs> Hi Karina. Okay. Yeah, I think I most probably have like more dressing then not dressing sorry what do you call this kale sauce i don't know awesome sauce okay now what we're gonna do is we'll put it on the dehydrator tray for those who are asking i'm using the excalibur 9 tray dehydrator um this is their paraflex ultra sheets that i really like using but you can use just any like non non-stick dehydrator sheet that you have um yeah so let's just put it on here what you want to do yeah what's important is when you place yes me <laughs> wow that's a lot of um that's a lot of That's a lot of emojis, huh? <laughs> okay. What I was gonna say is like, when you place the um, the kale chips, just put it in a single layer. If you want it to be crispy, it has to be in a single layer. If not, it won't be crispy, guys. Okay? So that's the tip. If you've never made like raw vegan kale chips before. But yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly put it in. A single layer and I think this is going to be like eaten up like in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for this. Jacqueline's is yummy. Yes, it is. It's going to be, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to make like a kind of a kimchi curry. Well, I've never made it before. Again, it'll be another experiment. Um, my friend Lauren, she has released her, her book, Mind Food. It's plant-based. It's not raw, but I'm going to try and see like, um, adapt a recipe and make it raw. So, um, I might go on YouTube to do that. Depending on my energy levels, yeah. Yeah, hello, infinite sauce. Hello, KH, YC, YC, YC. I don't know how to pronounce it, YS. Hello, yoga with yoga. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like move this so you can see better. Although I think there are like lots of just words coming in, right? Oh, you watch the replay. Oh yeah, let me know um, 
which uh, city, which country you're watching from. I'm always curious. Yeah. And also, um, I have an e-newsletter if anyone's interested. Um, I may be making some... Um, I may be making... I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so the e-newsletter, I usually give out share recipes and exclusive videos um, and rants such as this. <laughs> yeah, so if you are interested in seeing that and special offers and discounts as well and just stories and things about my life and uh, funny things about Mr. Jazz Guitarist. <laughs> so um, if you're interested, the link is in my bio. Sign up for that as free. I try and write like maybe five times a week or something, depending. Yeah, so the banana peel tea thing that I've been doing, I, I shared that in the e-newsletter. If you, When you sign up, there's going to be like a link to loads of videos. I think they're like about maybe like 80, 90 videos or something there. But yeah, so um, you can check that. Hello Seattle, new Nike. So yoga with Yoka is from Seattle. Um, Jacqueline is near Niagara Falls. Oh, I've never been to Niagara Falls. I've only been to Yosemite. Yeah. Um, Karen was to, oh, Cabo City, California. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, there's a Matthew Kenny restaurant at Culver City, right? Yeah. I'm wondering whether I went to Culver City um, when we were um, in the US in like early 2020 right before the lockdown and the pandemic we were there like i think we arrived in berkeley california on the 14th of february and then we left on the 15th of march we left san francisco on the 15th of march and then i think then all the lockdowns began so yeah so that was my last trip to the u.s yeah okay so this is this is um i put it on a tray there's more but i think i'll do that like off camera um um yeah and then i'm just putting it into a dehydrator i'll dehydrate this at uh since you're all from us <laughs> 115 fahrenheit and then um depending how long it really depends um dehydrate until crispy or dehydrate until the the um dehydrate until the consistency you like and then um yeah and then i'll eat it nom 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 <laughs> Cashews look so good, right? And it looks yummy. I know, right? It looks yummy. I can't wait to eat this. Like, I have to wait a few hours more for this to be ready. Yeah. But, um, where are you in US? Or oh, no, I'm not in the US. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. That's why a lot of grocers don't understand this concept of plastic free. Yeah. But, um, I mean, like, boom growers. That's why they address that as well. But, yeah. Yeah, so thanks so much Boom Grow for sending this through. If for those in Malaysia, in Klang Valley, um, you can get the um, Boom, Boom Grow packets. Um, it's $7.50 a packet, I think that's what they told me. Yeah, so check them out on their website, um, on their Instagram, their website. Um, I know they just, um, they're in Moncara as well at QRA, but yeah, you can order, um, yeah, order their subscription boxes or order their. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I wanted to say this because they do say they do point out as well. They use it's grown hydroponically. It's zero percent harmful chemicals. They use ninety five percent less water, and there's ninety five percent less food miles, and there's ninety five percent less land. Yeah, so even though it's delivered in plastic, oh, you know, it's still um better for the planet. So that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, Catch Cat asks, do you prefer kale chips raw or dehydrated? Does the dehydrator make it more tender? No, it makes it crispy. Well, I guess crispy does make it tender. I don't think it's like tender, tender. It's crispy, especially if you eat it right out of the dehydrator. Uh, Catch Cat, maybe um, if I remember, I'll do an IG story on it, um, on me eating it. But it, it becomes crispy, but it, it shrinks. And it becomes crispy, uh, but it's really good to serve to people who are not raw vegan. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Because like my mom loves it, my sis loves it. They're not vegan, they're not raw vegan. They don't understand why 
I don't think they really understand why I'm vegan, but they love it. So I think like for um as an introduction to raw vegan food, this is like this this um after you dehydrate it, it's a great way. But um yeah, honestly I actually like to eat it just like this. I mean it, it'll taste different. And I think the dehydrating will also intensify the spices and the, the flavors as well. So that's like yeah, that's like really really good. So yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna log off now. Hello Dome Beltran. Um you can you can watch the replay of this. So again, thanks so much everyone for watching. Thanks Boom Grow for sending this over. Um and if you're in Clang Valley, check them out. And I'll see you guys another time. Remember, animals are our friends, not food. Go vegan, raw vegan. If you want to, raw vegan. <laughs>